this is Alokthon Plays, and I just wanted to give a very quick tour of two bases that I built that have large nip-nip farms in them. And I wanted to mention that specifically because for whatever reason, nip-nip really causes bases to hit the construction limit. Uh, and so what you need to do is you need to separate the nip-nip farm into little, little, into little pieces. So this is a farm I have on a lush planet in Euclid. I'm going to hop up on my ship here to give a little bit of an overview to, uh, uh, of it. Um, you can see I have short-range teleporters scattered around here. There's three, there's four of them. And so this yellow one actually goes down into the water o over there to a little building I have under the water. I have this building here attached to the landing pad. I have another short-range teleporter over here, which heads down into the water. I have a short-range teleporter here that heads out over to that building over there on the hill. And then I have a short-range teleporter, the green one over here, that heads down over there towards my EM generators. Let's start just with the basic base. And I used a lot of the things that you can pick up on exotic planets to decorate this. There's a lot of stuff here, but in general, it's actually a pretty small base. I always like to have a battery around it so I can see how much power I'm drawing. So even though this is a small base, it uses a lot of power, and that's because there's a, big, a fairly big farm here. Okay, so let's check out the little bit at the EM generators, which are down there. We'll go through our green teleporter here. I have, what, three, four generators here. This is a C-class magnetic uh, power hotspot, and it's powering everything just fine. And so what I do is I have separate little buildings in which I put somewhere between five to eight nip-nip bud plants, depending upon what error I'm getting. Sometimes I can only put in five, sometimes I can put in what I have ten here. I think that's the biggest one I have at any of my bases. So that was the green one. Back up to our landing pad. This is the stairway I walked up earlier. So now we're gonna go to the yellow one which is over there underwater. And I have seven Nip nips here for seven nip nips here and a mordite just because I happen to use mordite a lot. I didn't intend for this to be a nip nip base, which is why some of these farms are, are underwater. I wouldn't have built this on, on, on the coast if I had intended to, to do this. Then, attached to the landing pad, I have another uh, little farm over here which has eight or so, and again, some mordite and some uh, gut rot flour, just to fill in the extra spots. And we go to the blue farm over here. Again, we're underwater. More gut rot flour, more nip-nip. I think that's ten, nine, ten nip-nip in this one. Again, we're underwater. Oops. I can't remember the count of the nip-nip I have at, at this base. It's 30 or 40 or, or something like that. And then the red one over here is actually going to take us through a, a teleporter relay, so I'm going to get lined up correctly and step over to this one and go to the last little farm over here. This is the smallest one. And it looks like I'm having some dropout. I know that's actually planted. I would have put some uh, gut rot flour or something in it. Oh, there it is. It, it popped in. The other thing about this particular little farm is it's got some uh, uh, ancient data structures over there. So if I ever need any nav data or drop pod data, drop pod data, I can go snag some. This save, however, is uh, uh, an end game save. I don't need any more of that. The last thing at this farm, 
at this base, which isn't all that interesting, but just to show you what the complete base looks like, is down here I have uh, a galactic trade terminal and all of my storage. So, that's a fairly small base, but it has 30 or 40 nip nip in it. And I have them spread out because whenever I try to put more than eight or so nips together, I start getting the construction limit reached. This is true even on the most recent patch. So I have four or five places all built out where I can grow nip nip. And then I will take you to another base that I have, but it's on another save, so I'm going to need to reload. So here we are at my other base that has a nip-nip farm on it. I wonder if that tree is actually going to grow in. There's just supposed to be a tree there. There we go. And this is on a Hydro Garden planet. I build a lot of bases on Hydro Garden planets because they have all the most of the benefits of a lush planet. But they don't have any of those exploding gas bag plants, which just drives me crazy. They literally give me a headache. Now, this nip nip farm is pretty ugly, but I'm showing it to you because it does a pretty good job of showing how close you can build things. So again, I have 10 nip nip plants in this little pod. I've been st I've started calling them farm pods, and I have a bunch of them here in a row. So if I pop out, oh, I'm getting a lot of dropout. My apologies. But I've been building these pods out of three or four glass cuboid rooms. And then I put five or six floor panels between them. Then I put another little farm pod. And then five or six more glass... Wow, there's a ton of dropout. Five or six more... Five or six more uh, f uh, flooring, flooring panels. And then I put the next pod. You can see that my my construction limit got a little tighter here, so I put in I had to put in more dite instead of the nip nip. But as far as I know, you can do this indefinitely until you hit the edge of your base, and you can expand your base boundaries out to about a thousand U in a radius, and so your base can be two thousand U across. So let me oops try that again. Maybe you can see it a little better now? Nope. My poor little PS4 is just dying, so I can't show you what that looks like uh, from a distance, which is actually probably a pretty good thing because it looks pretty terrible. But this is the way I get around the construction limits when I want to build a farm. It's fairly resource intensive, but you do what you do, right? You, you, you do what you gotta do. I do have a, a biodome down here. Oops! <laughs> I had my uh, my screenshot on, and so I lost my, my jetpack there for a second. What do I have in here? Oh, right. Do these remind anyone else of popcorn and pretzels? But I have the star bulb in here because, again, I hit the base limit. I don't know why Nip Nip causes the, the, the construction limits to hit faster than any other plant, but it does. So if you want to grow a lot of Nip Nip, you have to work around the process. That over there is another farming pod. So that is just a quick overview of how to spread things out in order to build a farm that has lots of nip nip buds. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you want to be all cool and stuff or really anti-cool, you can hit subscribe and follow me uh, when I put up new videos. I'm enjoying this video making thing a lot so, you know, I hope they're of use. Have a great day and thanks.